Oftentimes my patients ask me, when can I start using my arm as far as um, holding a purse or maybe even starting to lift my grandchild? And those are important parts of, uh, you know, your patient and the normal daily activities that you want to return to. So what I tell them is gradually build into it. I think it's important that you follow the physical therapist's instructions regarding the exercises for strengthening and range of motion. And in time, you will be able to utilize that arm in your daily function. Immediately after surgery, you want to avoid movement of shoulder flexion beyond 90 degrees. So you want to keep your shoulder movement at eye level here. So we do encourage you to start using your arm. We don't want you to protect and guard your arm, but we do state that it's important that you keep the motion less than 90, especially when the drains are in, because the longer um, the drains are in, then the more complications you can have. And if you overuse your arm, then the drain output can increase. So um, immediately post-op, we also encourage diaphragmatic breathing, shoulder rolls, and gentle range of motion exercises to the shoulder. Once the drains are removed, we do encourage you to increase your range of motion past 90 degrees uh, to full range of motion as you feel you can tolerate. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.